Hi guys, I'm Larry the Butcher. Oh! I haven't had a chance to make anything, so I'm gonna do a beer review. Um, you'd almost swear that Nickel Brook Brewing is paying me to do these videos. They aren't. They, they don't know I exist. But their beer's actually pretty good. I like it. So today, it's Cause and Effect Blonde. Woo! 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 Um, Nickel Brook Brewing is a little brewery out of Burlington, Ontario. I think they might have a satellite location or two. They're actually doing pretty good. And the beer is actually... Oh, wait a second. <clears throat> when you're not trying to outbitter the other guy, beers can be pretty good. Seeing how my phone is being used as a remote monitor, I can only take what's off the label. If I can read it, because I'm old. So, cause and effect, it's a blonde with a 15 IBU. Uh, it's a beer, 4.7% alcohol. Um, Brewers Elements, that's pretty cool. You see that? Uh, malt, Pilsner, Munich, Wars Otter, and Carafoam. Hops, Magnum, Cascade, and Centennial. And the yeast is California Ale. Uh, contains wheat barley, uh, and then it's in French because I'm in Canada. Nickelbrook Brewing, Burlington, Ontario. Nickelbrook.com. I'm actually really liking their beers, and I don't know if I got used to high IBUs. Not that 15 isn't a high IBU. Back in the day, like 25 years ago, I really liked Alexander Keith's India Pale Ale. The label's misleading. It's not an India Pale Ale. Um, it's barely... Uh, most people say it's just a lager. But... Um, taste of thirst, optimism, knowledge... Reason. Odd notion. Alright, so anyway, let's uh, do a pour. Now they say you want a bit of a head because the bubbles, if they don't form in your beer, they form in your belly. Wow, that's really clear. I can see the camera. Actually, I can see what you're drinking. That's really cool. Did you enjoy it? Good. So as you can tell, it's very clear. Just a tiny bit of uh, hoppiness. Dramatic pause for effect. So, cheers. Wow. You know what's interesting? It, it, you, you take that first sip and it goes, oh, oh, I'm really hoppy. And then when it gets to the back of your throat, it's like, psych, nope, not hoppy. This is really good. I don't think this is a steak beer. If you were to pair it with something, I think it's more like pork chops or chicken breast. I don't, I think it's too light for chili.
The um, the last beer that I did a review, actually the last couple beers I've done a review of, are Nickel Book beers. And I've sent them links to the video and they've never gotten back to me. And I'll send this out to all of you right now. If you are a small brewery and you are able to ship to Ontario, I'll buy one of your beers and I'll review it here. LarryTHButcher at gmail.com. Send me a link. Maybe a t-shirt or a hat. Maybe I can do a giveaway here. Can't do a giveaway for alcohol, but I can for a t-shirt. This was a good beer. I do recommend it. If you can find it, if it's in your neck of the woods, by all means try it. If it's not in your neck of the woods, you got some traveling to do. As always, as always, I'm Larry the Butcher. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Comment down below. Like I said, if you have a beer and you want me to try it, um, I'm willing to pay for it. Just let me know what it is and where I can get it, and I will do that. I'll be doing these reviews once every two or three weeks, and maybe I get to have a good beer. You get my unbiased opinion, because there's a few that I've thrown in the sink. Share this video on all your favorite social media, track me down on social media, and let's talk about hops, barley, and yeast. I love you all. I'll see you later. Bye.